What's up cousins? So I'm starting with clean deep conditioned hair and I've already applied my leave-in in the shower. So now I'm just topping my leave-in with a little bit of hair oil to help seal in the moisture to prepare my hair for blow drying. Just gonna detangle my hair with my wet brush. And then lastly, just apply a little bit of a heat protectant. You can use whatever heat protectant you want to. I just use whatever I had lying around the house. I'm not picky about it. But to blow dry my hair, I am going to be doing the tension method. When I do the tension method, I just like to take a brush and hold it towards the end of my hair. This helps to keep my hair taut while I blow dry my hair straight. And also, for some reason, whenever I'm doing a tension method, I prefer using a brush versus just kind of like tugging at my hair and holding my hair tight because I find that after a few minutes, my hands get really tired. Like, it's almost like my hands start cramping up. I don't know if I'm holding my hair too tight or if I'm like in the early stages of arthritis. If you guys have that problem, leave it in the comment section below and tell me what helps for you or just let me know that I'm not alone. I really like doing a tension method on my hair. I feel like it is a safe and effective way to blow my hair out. But one thing about the tension method is that it does take an extremely long time for me to blow dry my hair. I believe it took a total of like an hour and a half to blow dry my hair using this method. And of course I am low porosity, so it takes my hair extremely long to dry anyway. I did blow dry my hair on high speed, warm heat. So, you know, just the less heat that you use, it's gonna be, or it's gonna take longer so just keep that in mind if you're going to do the tension method for your hair just make sure that you have some time set aside because it's going to take a while Since I started using products specifically geared towards my low porosity hair, I definitely have seen a huge difference in the amount of moisture that I'm able to maintain in my hair, just the way that my hair acts and just the overall health of my hair. So make sure you check the description box for the products that I used to moisturize my hair because I think it is making a big difference in my hair. Lastly, I like to complete my blow dry with a cool shot just to help close the cuticles and seal in the moisture. And this is what my hair looks like when I am done. I did end up trimming my hair because it was time for a trim. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram to check out what I did to trim my hair in its blow dried state. And since my hair is blow dry, of course, I'll be doing some super cute stretched hairstyles for you guys. So if you aren't already a cousin, make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss it. Thanks guys for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.